Hello again! Uh, now we're going to talk about the second bird for the day. It's the peregrine falcon. That is a beautiful bird and pretty talented too. Um, if you want to know more about birds, uh, this is also another great website. It's called allaboutbirds.org and you can look up all sorts of birds and get a lot of great information. So first, Let's listen to what kind of sounds the peregrine falcon makes. That sounds like a familiar sound around the beach. Um, if you look here, we have the picture of what an adult looks like. And down here we have a juvenile. So remember I kind of say that's like a teenager. Uh, maybe even maybe even your guys' age. Juvenile in the bird world. Um, there's a video here if you want to go to the website later and click on it. That's a video of uh, one sitting at the beach on some wood. Uh, I'm going to scroll down and they have some interesting tabs here. So these are just simple facts about the peregrine falcon. So its habitat are shorelines. Its food are other birds. Yep, they eat other birds. There are a fair amount of birds that eat other birds. Um, they're nesting where they like to make their nests are on cliffs. Um, there's, there's quite a few birds that like to nest on cliffs because it's uh, safer in some respects that uh, other predators can't get to the, the babies in the nests. Um, it likes to do an aerial dive, so that's a behavior. So basically it'll be up in the sky, it'll see some food, and it'll just dive down. Uh, so let's look at the map right here. Again, it has colors that it's using for the legend. We can see here's California. Um, this light purple kind of lavender is on the coastline here. It's hard to see. But what that means is that we can see uh, peregrine falcons on our coast all year round. So they don't necessarily migrate. Um, if they do migrate, they, they go north. So the yellow area represents the migration path. And then where they make their nests, and remember those are on cliffs, would be up north here. So we've got part of Alaska where they're making nests and the tops of Canada way up there and then going into Greenland and Iceland. So um, that's obviously when it's warmer in the Arctic areas. So in the end of the spring and in summer. All right, let's go down to cool facts. I'm just going to read you a couple of these cool facts. People have trained Falcons for hunting for over a thousand years. And the peregrine falcon was always one of the most prized birds. Um, I think one of the reasons is because they're, they're easy to train. Um, and they're also amazing flyers. Down here it says the, the peregrine falcon is a very fast flyer averaging 40 to 55 kilometers per hour, which in miles per hour is 25 to 34 miles per hour. So that's pretty amazing. And they can reach up to speeds of 112 kilometers per hour, which is 69 miles per hour. So even a little faster then you're supposed to drive on the freeway. They can, they can fly that fast. 
pretty amazing. Uh, one more fact. The peregrine falcon is one of the most widespread birds in the world. So basically, you can find it almost anywhere. It is found on all continents except Antarctica and on some other oceanic islands. Um, if you want to visit this website, there's also these tabs you can click on. So life history, the maps, and more sounds. And don't forget the uh, handout that I gave you. So that has a picture of the peregrine falcon that you're going to color and a poem underneath it that you can read to somebody else that's at home. All right. Have a good afternoon.